Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, it is with great joy that I can be here with you. Today I bring a question, why can't you understand what's happening to you? Why do you complain so much? Why do you keep questioning what happens to you? Each of you is attracting to your path what is necessary for your evolution, like it or not, whether it is easy or not, whether it is peaceful or not, either with someone unknown or with someone from within your home. Nothing is happening on purpose. Everything is part of a great process, and at this moment it is the individual process that each one is going through for their evolution. Trying to understand, asking why, will not bring you the answers. What is the appropriate posture then? Look at everything that happens to you, look at everything with love. Be it suffering, be it something joyful. These will not be easy times, my children. You will all go through some very difficult setbacks, but they will certainly be a stepping stone in your evolution. There's no point in revolting. There's no point in sadness, there's no point in arguing trying to make the other person understand. The time is now for collection. Don't think you're inferior because of it. Don't think that everyone around you will do whatever they want with you. Why do I tell you, who can attack you? The one you allow to attack. Because when a person attacks you and you don't want to be attacked, you simply tell him to stop and get away from the person. If he doesn't stop, be a little more energetic, you can even slam doors, but you don't have to listen to what they are doing to you. Nobody is obligated. So know how to behave. It's not about cowering like a scared puppy and allowing others to speak, do, and happen against you. You have your way of thinking. You have your walk. You have already made your choices. So why allow this? Put an end to it because until you put an end to it, everyone will think they have the right to attack you, challenge you, diminish you because they think they are powerful. So from the moment you say, it's over. I don't hear anything anymore. Respect me. Turn your back and walk away. You are not obligated to listen to anything. Don't feel inferior. Don't feel cowardly. You need to be strong, and show strength not brute force, not physical force, not harsh words. Just put a period. It is up to each of you to demand respect. And respect is simply, I end this matter here. He finished. And every time they try to bring it up again, don't stay close. Make your way of thinking count. Why do others have to impose something on you? Let everyone follow their own path and respect the path of the other. Whether the path is wrong or right, time will tell, for each one. Then my sons and daughters, the attacks will happen, and there will be many. Understand, you emanate light, a lot of light. And whoever still walks, I would not say that in darkness, but in ignorance of what is happening, is closer to darkness than to light. And your light is uncomfortable because they do not feel light. In fact, many are clinging energetically and absurdly to their highly limiting beliefs, as the doubts and thoughts that never stop arising in their minds are driving them crazy, without knowing who to believe. So you become a threat, and why? Because you have no doubts, you have already found the way. You know exactly what you want. Then those people look at you and ask themselves, why doesn't she have any more doubts and I have my head buzzing with doubts? Then they attack, so they try to understand how you achieved this, this feat of being totally in balance, totally where nothing shakes you, where nothing takes away your beliefs. And so it will be for many. Unfortunately, I will say that many relationships will be broken. Between all types of relationships, it will be up to each of you to make a choice follow what you believe in, even alone, or to please others, try to follow their path. It will be up to you to make that choice. 
nobody can do it for you. My children, the separation of the wheat from the chaff is very strong, and those who are chaff cannot find the way to become wheat, because they cannot let go of what they have learned, they continue to be involved with all the limiting beliefs that they once had to learn. And they feel angry because you are not connected to them. How did you manage to free yourself, how did you not believe anything they believe and manage to live? This is the question they ask themselves. We follow everything exactly, and we are full of doubts, and you who follow nothing, nothing we believe in is calm, in balance, or how can you? Then they start to look at you as something bad, as something that is not from God. Where it is exactly the opposite, you have freed yourself from beliefs, you know the path, and you are following it, your way, but you are following it. So, do not be afraid, my sons and daughters. I cannot tell you that better times will come. Yes, they saw it, but after the storm. When the storm passes, then I will be able to say to you, times of much light and peace and love are on the way. They are on their way, but you need to get through the storm first. There is no shortcut. There is no other way. Will everyone weather the storms? I can almost say yes. Everyone is going through, each in their own way. Each one living their own storms, and knowing how to retreat into shelter at the right time, or expose themselves to, at the right time. Believe me, whoever trusts will go through the storm, will go through everything that comes, but you need to go through it with love, because if this is not the feeling, the storm will continue, until you learn to respect yourself, to demand respect and to walk alone if necessary. Don't expect easy times in a short time. Easy times will come, but after the storms.